Hey, this is Steven with Rad3K and today I'm going to show you how to shoot more interesting GoPro videos on your snowmobile. So many of us have had this common problem where you get a GoPro camera, you stick it on top of your helmet and you go out riding all day and you do some really cool stuff and you come home and you watch the footage and it looks super boring and flat. You can't even hardly stand to watch it far less show somebody else. So after years of messing with this kind of stuff have uh, discovered that you, the key to making more interesting videos is to move the camera and get it into more interesting and unique perspectives on what you're doing. So your standard GoPro sticky works pretty good in certain situations but it's a little bit limiting in the way that you can either only point the camera forward or back and you don't get a lot of distance off of the machine. So what we did at Rad3K is basically got a bunch of RAM components, we tested them thoroughly and we've put a kit together that is specific for use on snowmobiles, motorcycles and ATVs. So basically what we have here is we've got our uh, camera mount, ball mount on the camera. This is on a GoPro Hero 4 session. It's also compatible with all the GoPro cameras or we can custom order different mounts for your other cameras that use different bases. Then we have a, the base mount here. So what we do here, this is a U-bolt and basically we'll uh, mount on any round surface on a vehicle. So front bumpers, rear bumpers, handlebars, etc. So we'll just take this, bolt it on the front bumper here. This uses a 7 16 nut. So you can either use a wrench or a socket. I like to use a socket, it's a little bit faster. Super simple. Just cinch it down. So now we got our base mount bolted on the bumper. Here, super solid. Then we got our long arm in the camera. We'll set it on there, the ball mount. And then you find your desired angle and cinch it down. So the most common angle that we shoot is usually looking back at the rider. And here we'll show you some footage of how that looks. So the beauty of this system is it's super versatile to get a whole bunch of angles. So you can have it pointing backwards like this, you could turn around, put it pointing forwards, you can move the camera over to the side. This is a kind of a cool view, shooting down at your suspension, seeing how that works. So you can get one side suspension or you can put it down and shoot below so you can see both sides of the shocks. This is a really cool view because it shows how much your suspension actually works. You could put the camera pointing down. Uh, the one thing I'd caution on that is that your suspension moves a lot more than you think it does. So uh, you definitely don't want to catch the camera on the, on the snow. So be a little bit careful on that. But yeah, the front bumper mount, uh, super versatile. You can use it uh, for a whole bunch of different angles for more interesting videos. So the most common place we put the mount is on the front bumper, but that's not the only place on the sled you can put it. Uh, with a round surface, you can bolt it on the handlebars, move it around, you could even put it down here on this hoop. Haven't tried this, but there's no reason it wouldn't work. Uh, also, the rear bumper, uh, this can be a pretty cool view. The only thing with the rear bumper is that uh, it has a tendency to get a lot of snow on it, so if you're in deep snow conditions, uh, you probably won't get a whole lot of footage till the camera gets dirty, but on trails and low snow that could work good. On the, you can also put it on the seat post here. Uh, I've bolted it on the running boards before, which is kind of cool because you can shoot down on the shock, uh, the rear suspension, see how that's moving. We hope you enjoyed this video and these tips and tricks on shooting GoPro and POV cameras on your snowmobile. To learn more about Rad3K, visit our website at rad3k.com or check out our Instagram and Facebook pages. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any input on what's worked good for you and your snowmobile, please leave them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please click the subscribe button on this page and you'll be kept up to date on what we have going. Thanks for watching.